Hey guys, welcome back to CEBAX tutorial channel and this is our problem number 3 for conjugate beam method under chapter 6 ng strength of materials. So the simply supported beam with overhang in the figure is loaded as shown. Use E is equivalent to 200 gigapascal and I is equivalent to 200 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the 4. Determine the deflection at point C. So as you can remember, this problem is also our problem number 3 in moment of or moment area theorems. So ang gawin natin, kunin na lang natin yung reaction niya. So, ang reaction sa AB natin is 2.813 and nag-moment tayo sa point P. So lagay na lang din natin dito. Tapos downward yung ating AV. So 2.813 kilo newton then hindi na natin sinunod yung rb kasi diyan tayo mag moment so ngayon mag moment tayo sa point b then so yung ating av is iikot pababa so, nasa negative side, then this is a point load, therefore, first degree yung ating uh, figure. So, this is 2.83 multiplied by 8 meters. So, 22 no? So, negative 22.5 over pi. And then, ito naman is iikot rin pa ba? So, this is one, uh, uh, no, this is, ano eh, uh, triangular, uh, no, rectangular load. So, 5 multiplied by 3, then multiplied by 3 over 2. This is also 22.5. Then, uh, from 0 degree to 1st degree sa shear, then 2nd degree pagpunta sa moment. 2nd degree. Yan. Then, gawin natin siyang loadings. Tapos, kunin natin yung ating uh, beam o yung mga support sa conjugate beam. So, this is pin external, no? So, this is also equivalent to pin sa conjugate beam. Tapos, ito naman is ano, internal roller. So, pagpunta natin dito, magiging siyang internal hinge. Then, this is free. Pagpunta natin sa conjugate beam, magiging fix. So, this is our A prime, B prime, and our C prime. Yan. So, ang pinapakuha natin kasi is yung deflection at point C. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin mag-moment dito sa point C natin. So, bago yun, kung nag-moment kasi tayo sa point C, it's either... Dito sa left side or sa right side. Okay. Kapag sa right side kasi kailangan natin makuha yung ating MC prime. Ayan. Tapos ito yung ating um, CV prime. Ayan. Tapos, ayan, yun nga. So kapag nag-moment tayo rito, kailangan natin ng reaction dito sa pin. Ito kasi ano siya eh, naging uh, connection na siya, di ba? So, kung connection to nasa, or mapapalabas lang natin yung kanyang reaction once na nag-segment tayo or nag-buy member. So, member A prime, B prime, or B prime, C prime. But anyway, ito, meron tayong ano, reaction sa A. So, this is our A prime, B. Ayan. So, nasa inyo kung uh, so, saan ninyo gusto. So, kapag nag-ano ko tayo dito, or kinuha natin yung mga reaction sa C prime and B prime gamit yung ating member B prime and C prime medyo may hirap tayo kasi maraming unknown dyan meron pa tayong MC prime eh so mas madali dito muna sa A prime B prime kasi 
Ang unknown lang natin dito is dalawa. Okay? Ayan. So, sige. Pwede rin naman natin siya i-copy. Copy na lang natin. Ayan. Then, sabihin natin, ito yung ating connection reaction sa B prime. So, this is B prime V. Ito na naman ang gusto natin. So, magmoment na lang tayo sa point B prime. So, bago yun, i-convert muna natin yung ating loadings into resultant force. So, ilan to? This is 1 half of 22.5 then multiplied by 8 meters. So, 90. So, this is 90 and this is kilo newton meter squared. Kasi ito, nakamoment siya, kilo newton meter then multiplied by meters so kilo newton per or kilo newton meter squared then over e i yan so ang moment tayo sa point p sa mission of moment at point b prime is equivalent to zero clockwise is positive ah yes so this is triangular no so yung ating um, resultant force is nasa one third of eight meters so, ang ating A prime B is iikot ng clockwise. So, that is positive A prime B. Then, multiplied by 8 meters. And then, a negative 90 multiplied by 1 third of 8 meters. It's equivalent to 0. So, cancel na lang natin yung 8. Yan. So, makukuha natin ang A prime B. Ang makukuha natin dito is positive. 90 over 3, no? So, 30. So, positive ang nakuha natin. Therefore, tama yung ating assumed direction sa A prime B. Lang. So, ang ating A prime B, since this is a force, I mean, uh, parang kinukonsider natin siya as force dito sa ating conjugate beam. At ito, parang force din. So, that parehas lang sila ng unit. So, ang ating A prime B is positive 30 kilo newton meter squared then over E, I, N. Then, ang direction niya is upward. So, ngayon, pwede tayo mag-moment sa point C, prime, sa left side. So, M, C, prime, okay, or moment at C, prime, then sa left side. Ah, yes. So, this is 90, no? 90, Tapos ito naman, kung alalahanin natin yung area or equation ng area natin, that is equivalent to 1 over n plus 1 base time side. ba? Yan. And then yung ating x bar is equivalent to 1 over n plus 2 multiplied by base. But this x bar is lagging with respect to the height of the uh, area. So meron na tayo dito kasing 1 third eh. 1 third of 8. Ang kulang na lang is ito. So, this is 1 over 2 plus 2. That's the second degree. Then, multiplied by 3 meters. So, 3 parts. Ilan ng 3 parts? 0.75 meters. Then, yung error niya. Okay, para sa resultant force is 1 over... 2 plus 1. So, 1 third. Ayan. Then, multiply by base. Ang base niya is uh, 3 meters. Then, 22.5. So, 22.5 din yung kanyang resultant force. And, syempre, pilo nyo doon meter squared din ang kanyang uh, unit. So, game. Okay. So, magmama na tayo na. So, A prime B is equal to clockwise. So, positive A, uh, 30 kilonewton multiplied by 11 meters. Then, minus, of course, yeah, dito na lang natin ilagay. Ayan. And then, minus, kasi counterclockwise ang equal to 90 and 22.5. So, minus 90 multiplied by 1 third of 8 plus 3. And then, negative 22.5 multiplied by 3 minus 0.75. So, yung ating moment at C prime is also our deflection at 
point C. So third, uh, yes, uh, multiply natin ito na ano ah, ng 1 over EI. So 30 multiplied by 11 minus 90 multiplied by 1 third of 8 plus 3. Then minus 22.5 multiplied by 3 minus 0.75. So, ang ating ano kasi, uh, force diba is kilonewton meter squared. Then multiplied by meter, ang makukuha natin ay kilonewton meter cube. So, this is negative to 30.625. And this is kilonewton meter cube over EI. Yan. So, negative to 30.625. 0.625 kilonewton to newton is 1000 and meter cube to millimeter cube is 1000 cube. Yeah. So times 10 raise to 12 newton millimeter cube. Then over the flexural rigidity natin. So EI is equivalent to 200 gigapascal and times 10 raised to 3 newton millimeter squared sorry this is newton per millimeter squared Ayan. and then multiplied by 200 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth ewan po mas magand mas nadalian na lang din ako na ano na pagsamahin na agad yung uh, value ng ating uh, modulus of elasticity and ano uh, moment of inertia Pag-isay na lang natin siya as flexural rigidity. So, 200 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 200 times 10 raised to 6. So, 4 times 10 raised to 3 newton millimeter squared. Matitira is millimeters. So, makukuha na natin ngayon yung ating reflection at point C. Negative 230.625 times 10 raised to 12 over 4 times 10 raised to, wait lang, 13 na tayo eh. 13, sige 13. Ah, tama, 13. So, ang sagot is 5.766. Negative 5.766. Millimeter. So, negative, therefore, downward yung ating deflection dyan. Yan. So, check natin sa moment of inner, uh, moment, error theorem. Ayan. 5.82 millimeters. So, malapit yung sagot natin. 5.78 uh, or 766. So, this is approximately equivalent to 5.8. Ayan. So, pares na pares lang din talaga. Then, kung gusto natin kunin yung ano, um, slope natin, siguro hmm, sa ano, sa B. Kung natin yung slope natin sa B. So, kung, para kasi ano, um, para ma-drawing natin ng tama yung ating ano eh, elastic curve. Although, alam na natin kung paano yung drawing ito based sa ating solution sa moment error theorem. Pero, i-prove lang natin siya gamit naman ang conjugate beam method. So, check natin. Slope at B. So, kung slope at B, kailangan natin is mag-shear. No? Mag-shear tayo at B prime, then sa left na lang. Yan. Ang gusto lang naman tayo makita, makita rito is yung uh, sign. No? Kahit hindi naman yung value, yung sign lang. Okay na dun. So, this is A prime B. Uh, upward, so positive, 30. Then, minus 90. Tayo na gano'n, ha? Nag-shear. Yan. So, dito, negative 60. Kilonewton meter squared over EI. So, since negative yan, ibig sabihin yung ating rotation is clockwise. Okay? So, kung clockwise siya, ibig sabihin pa ganito yung ating uh, tangent at B. So, X. So, clockwise rotation yung ating um, slope at B. Check naman natin sa A. So, kung sa A tayo, mag ano lang tayo dyan, mag shear at uh, point A prime left na lang kasi kung mag rewrite tayo mahirapan pa tayong daming loadings diba anyway kapag binagsama-sama mo rin kasi to 
Ang mapuha mo rin is yung A prime B. Kasi nung nag, ano tayo, or magsishare tayo sa left side ng A prime, yes, ng point A prime, ang mapuha lang natin is yung point load na reaction, A prime B. So, upward siya, therefore, positive 30 kilo newton meter squared over EI. So, since positive to, ibig sabihin, counterclockwise ang rotation ng ating tangent. So, kung counterclockwise, pag ganito, ayan, counterclockwise, slope at A. So, tama, di ba? Tama talaga yung ating drawing sa elastic curve, pag ganito. Ayan. Ayan. And then, ito yung ating YC. ba? Napakaikli lang ng mga solution natin. Tapos, nasolve agad natin yung, ano, yung slope natin sa B and A. Gamit lamang yung conjugate B method. Pero, sa ano, sa moment R theorem, matagal isolve to. Hindi ba? Ang dami pa kailangan gawin. Compare natin. Ayan, ha? No, kailangan pati makuha yung vertical division na to. Then, mag ratio proportion tayo para makuha yung y one Tapos, kukuha na naman tayo panibagong vertical division. No, yun. Bago natin masolve yung ating yc. Samantalang ito, direct. Ha? Okay? Ito yung talagang kagandahan ng conjugate beam method. So, this is our problem number 3 for conjugate beam method under chapter 6 ng strength of materials. So, if you learned... From this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye, guys.